Here we have a DNA sequence of the coding strand of DNA. You're going to translate the sequence by using the universal genetic code. When using this chart, make sure to swap out the thymine T's for the uracil U's. So after we have translated this sequence into amino acids, we are going to look at the effects that a single point mutation on the DNA sequence would have on the translated amino acid sequence. The first mutation we are going to look at is a silent or synonymous mutation. As you can see, the original cytosine in the asparagine amino acid was substituted for a thymine. This substitution is known as a transition, where the bases substitute from purine to purine or pyrimidine to pyrimidine. Now, after going through a transition, the amino acid has not changed because AAU codes for the same amino acid as AAC. This is why the mutation is considered to be silent because there is no change in the translation. The second mutation we're going to look at is the read-through mu mutation. This is when a stop codon is changed to a codon that allows for the amino acid chain to continue, going to make it a long longer protein. On the stop codon, the base thymine has been through a transversion into the base adenine. A transversion is when the sub bases substitute a purine for a pyrimidine or vice versa. So this stop codon is changed into the amino acid arginine. The third mutation we're looking at is the nonsense mutation. This is where the codon is changed to become a stop codon. So the base cytosine goes through a transversion into the base adenine that creates a stop codon. The last mutation we're looking at is the missense or non-synonymous mutation. This is when an amino acid is changed and it could alter the protein function or make the protein non-functional. So in our mutation, the base cytosine goes through a transition into the base thymine, changing the amino acid alanine into the amino acid valine.